Yo, what's going on, guys? And it's being reported that our guys, according to HP Basketball, Will Barton and Monte Morris, are on the trade block. And it's because the Denver Nuggets are $30 million over the luxury tax, so they're luxury tax payers. And with that being said, the Kroenke family that owns the Rams own them. And you've seen how much money they're spending for the LA Rams. They're not trying to spend extra money for the Denver Nuggets. Now, let me hear your thoughts down below if you agree with these sentiments. And let's just get right into the video. And let's talk about guys who get Monte Morris. There's teams like, I believe, the Brooklyn Nets would be interested. You know, the Chicago Bulls, Indiana Pacers. I think the Wizards are a team you should watch. The Utah Jazz. I could really see, you know, the Trailblazers. Maybe even a team like the Pelicans or... Team, there's a lot of teams that I don't think any team that isn't a playoff team or a contending team is going to go for this. First off, let's go with the Wizards. I want to hear your thoughts. Where do you think Will Barton and Monte Morris are? I hit my microphone right there. Hopefully it wasn't bad. But who do you guys think Will Barton and Monte Morris are going to go? Monte Morris is probably one of the best backup point guards in the league, and he's a good spot starter. starter. And Will Barton's a good offensive starting shooting guard, but I think he'd be better suited as a six man on a contending team. Now, look at the Wizards. I've said this before. Isaiah Todd, Vernon Carey, and Rui Hachimura would, for Monte Morris. Would you do that deal? Maybe throw in a heavily protected future round pick, first round pick, or would you want like multiple second round picks? Rui Hachimura, Vernon Carey, and Isaiah Todd. Isaiah Todd's a high potential. You know, he was a very early second round pick for coming out of the G League, a night team. And I think Isaiah Todd would be a great little guy to develop for the Nuggets. Then they get Vernon Carey, a backup center. And that's something that they've needed. And he, you know, he's a guy who's on. Uh, Technically, it has two more years on his deal because he has an option, while Isaiah Todd has three more years. Then you get Rui Hachimura, who his deal is expiring, but you get the qualifying offer, and Rui Hachimura helps him out at the power forward position behind Aaron Gordon. I think that's a good deal for them right there. The other deals you could look at are, I think, man, if you look around the league, would the Knicks, I, I think the Knicks, could be interested in Monte Morris if they really strike out on Brunson, Tyus Jones, and Colin Sexton. Maybe that's somebody. Same thing with the Cavs. If they lose Colin Sexton, could Monte Morris be somebody that they want? Maybe. I think the Grizzlies could look at Will Barton and be like, hey, we'll send Dylan Brooks and Kelly and Tilly or Dylan Brooks and John Conchar for Will Barton because they need to there's been rumors that they want to get rid of the inefficiency behind Dylan Brooks, even though he brings a lot on defense, it's the inefficiency. What about the Pistons? If they strike out on Sexton and Bronson and Tyus Jones, would they want to put Will Barton next to our guy? And they have the cap space where they wouldn't have to send much money over. Same thing with the Trailblazers. Would the Trailblazers want to get Will Barton, maybe trade Josh Hart for Will Barton, or even just straight up trade the trade exception for Will Barton? Again, I think Will Barton, Monte Morris would be traded either after the first few days of the moratorium of free agency, or they would be traded right before when teams know that they're not going to get some guys. Because I could see the Suns who need a, you know, the Suns, the Sixers, the Sixers would love Monte Morris next to Tyrese Maxey, or even the Pacers. Imagine Tyrese Halliburton next to Monte Morris. Because, you know, this is a team that. They're looking the Pacers could get Keegan Murray. Or what if, you know, the the Sacramento Kings go, hey, we're gonna draft Shade on Sharp over Jaden Ivey. What about Will Barton Monte Morris to go next to De'Aaron Fox? There's a lot of lot of options out there, and I think they need to all be considered because they could go anywhere. Like we really don't know who is targeting our guy. So I want to hear your thoughts down below. If you're the Denver Nuggets, who would you be looking? Also, Los Angeles Clippers. Reggie Jackson needs either Will Barton or Monte Morris next to him because that would allow Kawhi Leonard and Paul George to play small forward and power forward. And then, you know, Zubak at center. I think that would help because if you get Will Barton, he's at shooting guard. Monte Morris, you put Reggie Jackson at shooting guard. Monte Morris at point guard. Paul George at small forward. Kawhi at power forward. Zubak at center. Not a bad team right there. And then the Hornets, if you want a better backup point guard, because Terry Rozier and Lamelo Ball is the backcourt, James Booknight, there's not really a backup, you know, point guard there. You bring in Monte Morris, you're pretty set. The Bulls, if they want somebody backup, you know, Lonzo Ball in case he ever gets hurt again, like he did this year. I want to hear your thoughts down below if you agree with any of these trades. If you do, let me hear them down below.
I love you guys.